So The Dry by Robert Conley. What a cracking movie this is. And it's so good to see an Australian movie absolutely smashing out of the park. Now, this was an adaptation of a book by Jane Harper. And she was actually a UK woman, came and lived in Australia and had the book. And she, I believe, had a second review of the script. So they were getting it as close as the book as possible. Watching this movie, it's uh, pretty much about a guy called Aaron Falk, who's uh, from a country town, which is located about five hours out of Melbourne. So the scene set was a tragic death in a country town. And when they go there, you can tell that it's really dry. The town's in hardship. In fact, they haven't had rain for like 360 days. Eric Banner comes into the piece here. He's a federal agent and he's going out there because it's his friend that has tragically been killed in this situation. It's amazing how things don't always appear the way they are. And he starts to rekindle some of the old things that happened when he was a child. This is put together magically through flashback scenes, which pieces together the whole story. And then things start to unfold. I'm not going to delve too much into it because I don't want to ruin the movie, but the way that they call into Banner, Eric Banner, Please stay in Australia more often. We need to use you in so many more movies. Does an absolutely cracking job. But he comes back into the local town. He might have some secrets in that town himself, but the way that things unravel, obviously it's called the dry for a reason. It is dry. And the cinematography, the wide angles used, the barren land, it all depicting the outback in Australia to a real T and showing how dry our continent really is in some parts. This is absolutely outstanding. And not only this, the movie really uses the sounds of Outback Australia to its best. And actually sitting in the cinema, you could hear all the noises that you hear when you are literally in the middle of nowhere. Another standout quality from the film. Not only that, the supporting cast, they are really backing up what's going on here. And so many actors and actresses that I've seen in so many series as in Australian TV really, really making Banner look as good as he really did. And let's face it, he did a standout job in this. Comes back into the local community and things go wrong. The flashback scenes are absolutely amazing. I didn't quite pick it the first time I looked at it, but when the flashbacks go, you could see it was greener, there was water around, and you could really see that it was a lot different place. And that's how you knew the difference of the flashback, which was done so well. They even made it look a little bit different with the, the colour and the film grade, which looked amazing. I, I actually loved it. Stand out. This isn't Robert Conley's first rodeo. He's had other movies out there, The Bank, Paper Planes, but, but this is by far the most successful already in such a short period of time in the box of us. Goes to show that Australian films have come a long way. This is directed as well by an Australian. The screenplay is Australian. It's got so many Australian actresses and actresses, and it's filmed in Australia. I was so engrossed in the movie, an amazing sound that we had in the VMAX cinema, which was really highlighting the Outback experience. Cinematography is absolutely outstanding. And the acting in this from all actors and actresses is absolutely amazing. Special standout to Eric Banner. Fantastic to have you home. Please come and do more movies in Australia, supporting Australian producers, directors, and movies more importantly. This movie just proves that blockbuster movies that are as good as any other movie in the world can be done right here in Australia. And I give this movie a five out of five, and I applaud everyone to go and watch it.